kababayan, today ako po si G. Tanji mula sa Los Angeles, California. And once again, we have our real estate buzz with Nia McLeod. Joining us here in Los Angeles, kasama natin si Mia McLeod. And it's so exciting when she's here because she really gives us information, us kababayans, on how to go about purchasing or selling a home. You really need the inside info, right? Yes, you need to understand the time frames, the people involved, how negotiation works, how the financing works. So that's what we're here for. Exactly. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about this. When you apply for a, a mortgage, mortgage yes. from the bank, yes. Tatawag sila, di ba? They're gonna call. Mm -hmm. Now we want to understand what are the common things that the pop call, up. yeah, yeah. That, that, that pop they up when request. they call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though you get approved for a loan, it's still contingent upon you fulfilling certain conditions. Okay. So what we're gonna share is what are common conditions that underwriters at the bank are gonna ask for. One of them is a VOE, which we call verification of employment. Of course, these banks are gonna verify if you're truly working. Okay. So they will call to your employment and confirm that. That's okay. one common So when condition. they call your employment, they, they basically ask your annual salary, how long you've been there. Actually, they can't ask how much you make. They only verify your start date and your role. Oh, yeah, yeah. they can't call they to should ask, not be is asking. it true that she makes this, uh, yeah, this amount of not, money? They should not. They're just verifying that you truly work there oh. and your employment time frame. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. And then what is an LOE? Okay. This is so common in the mortgage world. It stands for letter of explanation. And it doesn't need to be a long drawn out letter of expla explanation, but sometimes they will condition for um, credit increase. Like maybe you're shopping for a mortgage loan, so you've pulled your credit several times. They want to know why basically they want to make sure you didn't take out any new debt during that time so you just have to explain things like that or they might ask for um, an LOE because they see a lot of addresses popping up on your credit report they want to make sure are you owner of part of that or where are you really residing Got so it. a simple LOE letter of explanation explanation um, explaining that will do the job okay yeah. And yeah. then uh, credit supplements. Credit supplements. Another thing, if the bank wants to verify that maybe a credit card is actually really paid off or they want to verify the balance of that loan on that credit card, they will order a credit supplement to verify it. Okay. Yeah, that's one reason. There's a lot of reasons why underwriters might order a credit supplement, but it is a common condition. Okay, and what is a proof of, of home homeowner's insurance? insurance. Yeah. Anytime you apply for a loan, whether it's a refinance or a purchase, they require that you have homeowner's insurance on the property. So you can have your insurance agent send you the policy, and then that will provide as proof, and then the underwriter will sign off on it. Okay, yes. and usually how much are we looking at to get um, uh, homeowners? Um, it depends on the price, and it depends on the, the house, the, the value of the house. It also depends on the policy that you take advantage of. It's like car insurance. Got it. So it, it varies also what kind of deductible you want and things like that. So we always recommend that our clients sit down with a home insurance agent that specializes in that field to see what the best policies are for them. But we will need a copy of the proof that we could submit to the bank that you're going to be getting the mortgage loan from. Got it. Uh, yes. Okay. Now we have income documentation. Of course they're going to ask for that. They want to see, you know, how much money you're making. So that's standard, but yes. very common. Um, um, and then appraisals. appraisals. Yes, because anytime you apply they, they for a mortgage loan, whether it's a refinance or a purchase, they're going to verify the value of the property. But one of the requirements is that um, the smoke detector is there and the carbon monoxide is there. You want to make sure those two are, it's a simple thing, but you want to make sure those are in place. Because if they're not there, the first time the appraiser comes out, then the appraiser is going to have to come out again. And then you have to pay, pay again. another fee. And it could um, elongate the process and then maybe not meet your deadline of closing. So these are the things that we can be proactive of to avoid any additional cost or any um, you know, chances of it going past the closing date. Got right. it. Okay, yes. so what are the red flags that can cause a deal, deal to, to fall? fall out. Yeah. So we've got a ton of those, but yes. we'll, we'll highlight a few. Buying a car during the process. Okay, so don't buy a car don't if you're buy buying a, a house. Yes, because it can change the amount that you can get pre-approved for from the mortgage. Remember, a lot of times you're applying for a three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar home loan. Yes. They are gonna go through everything. So buying a car could throw that off for sure. 
depositing okay. money that cannot be sourced. Any money that you use towards the down payment of a purchase needs to be sourced. You can't just, sometimes clients come, here's $10,000 cash under my pillow, I wanna help my son or daughter buy. Yeah. We cannot use that. It needs no? to be sourced, it needs to be paper trailed. Oh dear, yes. okay, yes. so, so kung gagaling sa Pilipinas yung pera, well, if oh. it's an account in the Philippines, yes. and we're moving an account here, we've done that. Okay. Because we can verify the movement Got in it, the paper but trail. But if it's just cash, no, we cannot. Okay, okay. Yes. And then obviously, when you buy a house, don't okay. quit your job. You know, I never thought we had to give this advice, but you, you we're seeing that it ha happens. You cannot because you have to remember, the banks are going to verify your employment midway through the transaction, and the day it funds right before closing they will verify a lot of times one more time before the wire goes out so don't quit your job exactly right, right? <laughs> and then um obviously you don't want to make any big purchases yeah. right on Take, a especially credit card. the first time home buyers they're so excited they want to buy their fridge their furniture their washer and dryer we're not closed yet so they apply for credit cards don't do that that throws off your your debt to income ratio as well and could you know cause a denial so don't yes. do that as well so wait, once wait. it closes you could do whatever, whatever you, you want, want. yeah yeah, yeah. But, uh, if it hasn't closed just wait, wait just, just be wait. patient just be patient remember you're applying for a big amount so let that die down do its thing close up and then you can do what you want okay and then obviously you don't want to switch jobs right yes. even if middle. it's yeah even if it's a nurse from one hospital and then you're moving as a nurse to another the problem is these lenders want to see at least one month pay stub with the new bank uh, with the new employer got it so if you only have a 30-day escrow you have to close in 30 days and you change jobs midway that's not good it's gonna push back your close date the seller could be upset mm -hmm. and cancel out because you mm -hmm. didn't close on time so there's a lot of things that can happen okay there. so um before we go i want to invite everybody yes. june 25 mia is giving um Eastvale Community, Community Workshop once again. Yes, Please absolutely. invite everyone. Yes, please come out June 25th from 10 to 1. This is our third time this year. It's our way of empowering and educating our community. We're going to have a trust attorney that's going to talk about how to protect your real estate asset. We're also going to have the Riverside County Assessor's Office come out to talk about different tax propositions and property tax concerns. Yes. If you know of anyone who's looking to buy or sell mm -hmm. a home, and they also give free mortgage reviews all you need to do is go online to get a free online home evaluation mm -hmm. at mcleod.smarthomeprice.com. And of course, Mia, please invite all the referrals out there. Yes, we appreciate the referrals. We have a referral program. Give our office a call if you'd like more details about that. Mia, thank you so much again for being here on Kababayan today. And to all of you watching, maraming salamat po. At magkita-kita tayo bukas here on Kababayan today. Ako po si G. Tanji. Maraming salamat.